my fabulous friends how are you today i am having an absolutely fantastic day i already did my workout i did like two hours of cardio i feel fantastic already had my green smoothie it's absolutely gorgeous here in florida i have a little bit of work to do and then i'm gonna head out anyways kind of a funny story i was on facebook well first i want to give a shout out i have so many people on my facebook now who are juicing and blending their fruits and veggies and i just want to give a huge thumbs up to everybody seriously who is joining me in the fight to add more fruits and vegetables into our diet and fighting against all of the disease all of the diseases and uh horrible illnesses that are plaguing our society right now it's absolutely insane i give serious applause round of applause to all of those people out there that are trying to better their lives and their children's lives which is the number one thing we have to fight for our children seriously i'm so proud of everybody i see them i like the posts i comment on the posts all the time if i miss you i'm sorry feel free to tag me in your fruit and veggie posts seriously i would love just to have my entire wall when i get on a facebook just filled with pictures and pictures and pictures of people's green juices i love it anyways one of my friends went out and he bought a uh, jack lalane juicer and i don't really exactly know what was said but it was absolutely hilarious basically it was something to the effect of what kind of juicer did you get i got it's like the jack something or another i'm not sure and then the other person was like who's that and then they were like i don't know some old dude and i was just laughing like who doesn't know who jack lalane is come on people so then i started to realize that there's probably a lot of people that don't even know who jack lalane is jack lalane is like my idol seriously and it might just be because he you know he has the juicer i don't know and i have that juicer but i love jack lalane he's such an inspiration so i just kind of wanted to get on here real fast and give you guys just bits and pieces of information as to who the heck jack lalane is he actually just recently died i know that there's tons of inspirational people um who have come in and out are still here even um of the health and fitness world and they promote it and they are awesome at what they do and they also inspire me and keep me motivated um to continue to do better feel better about myself and continue to preach all the things that i preach here on youtube and on facebook uh, a few of them would be of course jillian michaels who i absolutely love her body is absolutely fantastic she preaches nothing but health and fitness uh arnold schwarzenegger dr oz chuck norris Bob Harper, um, Anthony Robbins is one of my favorite motivational speakers ever. If you don't know who he is, YouTube him, Anthony Robbins. He will get you jacked up for the day. If you've got a big meeting, if you have a big interview, if you just need some motivation in general, Google Anthony Robbins. He is phenomenal. I get a lot of my stuff from him, a lot of my inspiration from him. I actually have some awesome YouTube videos coming up that I'm editing at the moment as far as inspiration goes that come from him. Um, there's Bob Green, Tara Styles, Chuck Norris, like the list just goes on and on and on. Uh, but, Jack Lalane actually just recently died. Uh, I believe it was January 23rd, 2011. He was 96 years old. His biggest thing that he always used to say, which I thought was absolutely hilarious, was that he couldn't die. Because if he died, he'd kill his image. Because all the guy preached was health and fitness, health and fitness, health and fitness. Everything that I believe and everything that I preach he was also a believer in the fact that we eat too much food the fact that we eat all of these processed foods he hated sweets he hated sugar he hated all the white breads and pastas and rice and all of that stuff he believed in more of a paleo type diet not that i'm putting that on him because he's not the creator of that but he believed in fresh cut meats 
lots and lots and lots of vegetables. He loved vegetables and of course fruits. Um, he lived a beautiful, healthy, long, gorgeous and life. He was actually known as a fitness guru. Many of you don't know this, but he actually was the founder of the first gym in the United States. Like he actually found, like created the first gym in California. Um, he was only 21 years old when he founded this thing. And the doctors, get this, the doctors were actually against it. When he first did this, the doctors were actually giving horrible publicity, saying that the um, workout machines or working out that hard would cause hemorrhoids, heart attacks, and that women, women would actually be walking around looking like men. And he fought against that. He was actually the first person to put a workout program on the TV. The first one, like all of these people like Tybo or Insanity or P90X or whatever that is, are all just copycats from Jack LaLanne. He had the very first fitness program. Nobody believed in him. And it was so like talked bad about that he actually had to pay for his own airtime. Like normally when a show goes on, like you, if you're watching like, I don't know, Seinfeld or Friends, I can't think of anything, I don't watch TV. Those people get paid to be on TV. Like Seinfeld gets paid millions and millions, or did get paid millions and millions of dollars to be on Seinfeld. Jack LaLanne had to pay to be on the TV. That's how much he believed in this. The network did not think he was going to get any views at all. They thought that the whole thing was going to be a complete flop. And it wound up skyrocketing. It did absolutely phenomenal. And now all of these people, even like Jillian Michaels, who has the biggest loser, stuff like that is now so pronounced in our society. It's doing so well. And it was all because Jack Lane broke that stereotype that we are where we are now. On top of that, it actually wound up running for 34 years. The studio actually um, didn't think that he'd last any more than six weeks. So that's how it's Another awesome thing about Jack LaLanne, when he was 43 years old, he did a thousand, over a thousand push-ups. I don't know what it was. It's like a thousand twenty push-ups at the age of 42. I believe he even broke a world record. Don't quote me on that. And then on top of that, not only was he 42 breaking some sort of a record, he did it in 23 minutes. Can you do that? 1,020 something push-ups in 23 minutes. The guy's a freaking rock star, for real. And we're sitting here and we're wondering if Sabrina Soda's freaking crazy because she keeps pushing fruits and vegetables. Look at this guy, seriously, he's like a walking legend. Then, if you thought that's awesome, at the age of 70 years old, on Jack LaLanne's 70th birthday, he went for a swim, not, not just any swim, swam for a mile and a half over the Long Beach Harbor. And then on top of that, he towed 70 boats. No joke, at 70 years old, a mile and a half with his hands and feet shackled. <laughs> One of the most awesome things, I'm gonna have to read this because I, you have to get the complete feel for this. So if you don't mind, I'm actually gonna read it to you as stupid as that is. I can't really talk here, but this is just like how freaking you can hear like the passion and the sassiness of this guy. It was fantastic. He's talking about warm ups and how, you know, there's this huge, you know, conundrum with whether or not you're supposed to warm up or cool down or what you're supposed to do. There's always like every doctor or every fitness person has a different regime as to what you're supposed to do. So this is Jack LaLanne. I'm going to read it straight from what he says. This is how sassy this guy was. Okay. Now you listen to some of these so-called sports medicine experts today. Shit. It's just shit. It's just something else to sell. Warming up. Warming up is the biggest bunch of horse shit I've ever heard in my life. 15 minutes to warm up. Does a lion warm up when he's hungry? Uh-uh. Oh, here comes an antelope. Better warm up. No, he just goes out and eats the sucker. You got to get the blood circulating, but shit, does the lion cool down? No, he eats the sucker and goes to sleep. And that is the truth. How freaking awesome is that? Seriously. 
I love that. Does a lion warm up before he goes and freaking runs at 100 miles an hour to catch an antelope? No. He doesn't. And then does he cool down after he gets done? No, he eats it. And then he goes to bed. That's it. I love that. That's so freaking cool. I tell that to everybody. Anyways, the guy's a freaking legend. Look him up. I got a few pictures that I'm going to show here at the end. The guy is freaking awesome. He loved to swim. The guy just had unbelievable body strength. I'm going to actually post um, one of his uh, YouTube videos where he does this crazy push-up where he actually, and I tried this for real because I was like, what? You lay down on your stomach and you put your hands and your feet like all the way out. And then he lifts himself up with just his toes and his fingertips. No lie. Craziness. The guy was doing this until he was like 70 or 80 years old. They actually say that he was working out in his gym the day before he died. The only reason he died was because he got pneumonia and he refused to see a doctor. Which everybody says that if he would have gone to see a doctor, he would have um, probably lived to be way past 100. But he didn't really believe in doctors. He lived an unbelievable life. He broke so many records with swimming and towing thousand pound boats with people in them and being shackled. He won tons of awards for fitness and for health and for just changing the way this society, this is, this society sees uh, food in general. He was a pioneer of his time. Just somebody to really, really admire and look up to. So for those of you that are going out looking for juicers and you've got yourself a Jack LaLanne sitting on your counter and you have no idea that that's even a person or that it's just some dead guy, is actually one of the most influ influential people in my life that I go to constantly on YouTube or what have you just for pure inspiration. The guy was just a... Um, no holds bar, tell it how it is, doesn't take shit from anybody. He didn't give a crap. He knew what he knew, he believed it with all of his heart and he preached it until the day he died. He was doing infomercials all the way up until, like I think I even saw them the year that he died, he was still doing infomercials with his wife nonetheless for the Jack LaLanne and preaching and pushing greens, 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 greens constantly. Anyways, I just kind of wanted you guys to know who he was because I saw that there was some confusion there. Um, thanks so much for joining me, guys. It's been awesome. I am going to go out and enjoy some of this fabulous weather. And um, we will talk to you guys soon. Stay fabulous. And um, I don't know. We'll see you again here next week. Bye, guys. Solidão é lava que cobre tudo, amargura em minha boca. Sorri seus dentes de chumbo, solidão, palavra cavada no coração, resignado e mudo no compasso da desilusão.